Oops. And welcome back <laughs> uh, to D20 Theater. When last we left our heroes, a bear had just a entered the... A bear? bear? What? A bear? <laughs> Is it Sir Barrington? Just a bear. Wow. I'm not right, even going to comment on that. Atrocious. Um, well, I... What color is it? It's a, it is a brown bear. It's a brown bear. Bears beat the Battlestar Galactica. It's yellow. It's a yellow bear. Looks like a grizzly bear. Okay. It's a yellow bear with a little red shirt. All right. Oh. Um, it's a grizzly bear. He would not be. An Does it look like it's seen me? Arcanine one. This Okay. It's not a bear. Uh, it's a bear. So. It's a bear. Does the bear look like it has seen you? It looks like it's looking directly at you, and it stands up on Whoa. its uh, on its rear paws, and it goes... Whoa. If that didn't wake you up, you all need to wake up right now. Uh, did it wake us up? <laughs> Roll perception. Okay. Oh, I don't think woke me up. 15 on the die, which is Eight. what I guess. You're so sleepy. What you got? 12. You two woke up. I'm tired. Nice. Uh, I'll I call woke everybody. up. <laughs> Wait, but he didn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. I'm gonna. Me, I'm gonna. He's grown quite accustomed to the sounds of the woods. <laughs> oh, that's true. Me, 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 me. I'm gonna slowly to draw my pets. rapier, and uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna call out to the the tiny hut I have with the ladies. Wake up and stay inside the hut. Uh, I'm gonna just put, use my action. Can I use an action? Because they won't know what's going on. You can use an action to put your shield on. Okay. I'm gonna mm-hmm. do that. Can I wake Sam? Uh-huh. Hey, stupid! <clears throat> so I'm you just stand. gonna stand, kind of so addressing this. Uh, keeps awake. being pedantic. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up in front of the tents and between this uh, 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 the bear in the tents, right? And just kind of hold its gaze for now. <laughs> Are you doing I'm, this? I'm leaving the tent. I've got my shield on. I've got no armor, armor, but I've got my uh, my shield and my spear, and I'm going out there with him. All right. Going, oh, um, oh. As you approach, it goes... Vroom, and it looks right at you. <clears throat> I beat my spear against oh, my shield. He takes one step forward and rises up. Okay. Uh, well, I'm actually doing a thing. Oh, okay. Uh, Remember was, his shield does... That's right, that's right. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and use my bonus action on it for... Uh, I'm fairly Plus certain someone clanking metal on uh-huh. that would probably wake uh, up. So I pass the DC, have it make it's a wisdom loud. save. Okay. DC, DC is 15. Okay. Yeah, as the, the shield suddenly flares with a bright light, and there's a, a, dr- a really impressively loud clang of metal on metal. Oh. Several times louder and kind of magnified. Shouldn't be that low. Should be that low. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. It just sounds like someone like takes one more step forward. That was a gong. Oh. Huh. All right. I'm just gonna kind of get ready. Yeah, that was... Okay. It sort of lowers itself down, but it keeps one paw raised as all three of its other legs are on the ground. Mm. I'm gonna wake up. Right. And go. Go away. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Go away. <laughs> I, I read somewhere that you're supposed to. Uh, either make yourself very large. I'm a dwarf. Or <laughs> pretend that you are dead. This appears um, to be a bear. I don't, don't care. I'm wiping, or not I'm wiping this the sleep out of my eyes and go. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna reach in my herbalism kit. What are the chances of finding honeycombs? In About there? one in twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> you find no honeycombs. Uh, it looks like a honeycomb. I am going to lay on the ground and pretend that I am dead. Okay. The All bear right. goes. Ha ha ha! Laugh. Uh, I'm All gonna... right. Who are you? Oh, it must be a red priest. The bear. Um... <laughs> yes. And it shifts into this hybrid. Oh, oh, good. Bear. We've got a wear bear. <laughs> Excellent. Oh boy. Um, and as it does so. All right. Hello. It says, Who are you? <laughs> we are surprised. <laughs> I'm going to put a staff up against, my staff up against this theme, step forward in front of everyone and go, Priest of the Old. Of the Green Yard. 
I point to her. Yeah, I stand up and I pat my clothes off <laughs> and I begrudgingly like mumble, it would have worked if it was a real bear. <laughs> a priest of the blood playing dead. <laughs> it's like it's the only thing you know is dead. <laughs> my... That is a fair assessment. Dropping popcorn all over the place. <laughs> and he grabbed from a pouch on his person. Some berries and pops. <laughs> some berries. Mm-hmm. Oh, They're very good. Right, here we go again. Oh, was a squeak? Like... What, what was you, that? You should be grizzled by now. Yeah. No. Um, I'm going to. God, that joke and funny are just <laughs> polar opposites. May I ask why the priest of the red is in this part of the forest? I'm no priest of the red. Or may I ask a creature of the red why he's in this forest right here? You're a creature of the red. I think you mean no. to say, may I ask you why you are here? You're a living creature in the <laughs> plant. By your own heathen definitions, you are a creature of the red. <laughs> uh, may I ask what your changeliness is doing here? He says, I've come here to see what you're doing. It's not often outsiders walk straight up towards the hills like you are. Mm. All right, well, we are attempting to walk uh, around the hills, uh, but uh, I you are see correct. That. We've <laughs> been sticking close to them for several days now. Yes. Are we coming mm. across your territory then? In a manner of speaking, I. Well, Which mark us a path, we'll walk around it. I'm a chieftain of the Yarpier. What is that? Oh, I One see. <laughs> oh, you cross into my people's territory. That is so cool. Uh, aren't we going to his people's territory? Yeah, yeah we kind of are. Okay. We're headed there. Um, does he have the same markings <clears throat> as the two that we are currently harboring? The two people, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're from the um, beer. Like I'm guessing, like like red they do not tribal have, marks. The, the women do not have any tribal markings. Oh. And the dude that we were escorting, he defected. Mm-hmm. But our story is that we saved him, and he owes us a life debt, right. so he's having us into the thing. Okay. So defected people from the Hill Tribe will be killed by the Hill Tribe if seen. I don't think they Maybe. know he defected. As well, far I'm, as I'm just saying, I'm more say. worried about the two ladies that are currently in the tent. Oh, yeah, right. Um... What should we say to this fellow? Uh, ah, well, in fact, we uh, have something that may have belonged to your tribe. Uh, a young man who we rescued oh. and has sworn us a life date. A young man. Hmm. Swore you a life debt. A yard beer. Swore you a life debt. I... Were it not for us, he would have no life to swear. Doesn't sound that much of a Yarbier. Are you sure he's not one of those fancy pants wearing fools? Is he wearing from pants? the hair for <laughs> Bear is not wearing pants. But it, you do know that the Yarbier typically uh, wear more like long Mine tunics cloths. and and skirts and. Things. Oh, so kilts. And he's, do, do we know that our guy is from the Yarbier? Yeah, he is. Does okay. he often wear pants? <laughs> he, They're not fancy. He has been wearing a long tunic. So. Okay. A long tunic. Yeah. But not should we but represent? No should okay. we present the? No, I believe he is from the Arbia. Gentlemen. There's no shame in being brought low in battle. It happens to him. It's never happened to me. You've never been surrounded. Well, I have. <laughs> and perhaps there is a reason you're the chieftain. Hmm. Rope surgeon. Ah. <laughs> you can tell that he he kind of does. That's a ten. <laughs> uh, it's still works. Hey. hey. Uh, he sort of smiles and he says, Perhaps that's why. Perhaps that's why. Mm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> are we distinct? In character, is that a thing that took place? <laughs> Not definitely, just, but definitely, definitely mine. mine. Yeah. Definitely mine, but maybe Are we disturbing your territory? Are you bringing bad omens to you and your people? I don't know what you're doing here. You come up from near the Hayfork. Last time they came up here, the Briogan clan war happened. Mm. Well, we're not, we're interested, not interested in, in war. Any kind of clan yeah. war. Thank you. 
The what are you interested in? Sightseeing. We're kind of exploring. I I opened my herbalism kit. I've been collecting plants from wherever. I'm basically just studying them. And where's this yard beer that sworn you were dead? He is a deeper sleeper than the rest of us. Uh, where, where is he from us? He's just right in his tent. He's just taking tent, a yeah. little nap. It's okay. Yeah. A little nap. Bring him out to me. What? what? Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to stand in front of him. You don't him. wish him harm, do you? His life death means that any offense to him to will be taken I want to see you're telling the truth. Does he wish? Not an unreasonable request. We bring him out, then. Right. I'm not moving. He comes out, uh, and when he sees the guy, his eyes widen, uh, and he stands up straight, and he says, Hello. It's been a while, Emma. And uh, the bear looks at him, and he, he says, Do I know you, lad? Not directly, no. But we did meet. During the war games one time. You brought me low. Quite quickly, I'd say. You should have been tougher. Aye, I should have been. We're just seeking passage back to Lythric. Lythric, where, where the moot's going on. Right? Aye. And you're bringing outsiders to the moot? That's right. They saved my life. I owe my debt. Well, you do what you will in these lands. Are you bringing orcs with you to your mute? Excuse me. <coughs> oh, no, there are no orcs in the moot. <laughs> Excuse me. I think my friend has had some strange dreams so, and is simply waking up from them. What are you implying? That there are orcs around here and they might crash your moot figuratively and literally if an orc comes for my moot where well, I will be clowned, crowned the new king of my people I'll crush his skull like a grape do you mind if I join you <laughs> you don't deserve the honour Oh, there's a part of me that really wanted to turn into a tree and just whop him right there. <laughs> tree versus bear. Tree versus bear. <laughs> uh, he the looks back to Halvor and he says, Whose clan are you from? And he says, I'm from Fjaker's clan. Fjaker. <laughs> right. Well. We'll see how Fiaka feels about these outsiders. It seems a bit weird that a chief chieftain doesn't have a posse with him. Are you alone? Why are you still talking? Hey, it turns to you. Takes several steps towards you, <coughs> looming large over you. And looking straight down at you, he says, Do I look like I need a posse? <laughs> No, the answer no, you is do no. Not. And you we do have not. no further quarrel. You, I, you do not. You look like you can handle yourself, Mr. Bear. Man. <laughs> I just give him a little. I use my staff to knock on his chest. I think you're right. Mr. He turns Bear. over and he says, You do well to listen to the pretty lady. What? Pretty. Uh, <laughs> bright red, He's just from hairline to neckline. He's a bear. <laughs> He's a bear. <laughs> He's a bear. Oh, I can't even handle it. Just like what she is now. <laughs> he shifts now into really. a fully humanoid form. He's still not wearing He's a bad. And yeah, he's he's got a long tunic now. Now he's a bad. Uh, and you <laughs> can see that he's basically got this this sort of it, it is almost like a kilt, but it's not folded like a kilt would be. It's it's really just more of like a, a skirt type uh, type item that um, that is worn here. And he's got he's got a thick leather belt strapped around it, as well as a bandolier strapped across uh, with a, a big sack hanging from the back of the man. He looks to have some traveling equipment and stuff mm. like that, and like 
rations and stuff, and he's got a couple pouches. Is he armed? He's got a huge, huge, heavy beard. Uh, and as he shifts out, uh, it from his hand sort of shifts this uh, th- this huge great axe. That okay, he's well there it is. <laughs> um, and he says, oh, yeah, uh, that. He is bear man uh, and axe. yeah, this guy, he looks like big burly mountain man, right? And as he uh, as he shifts out into this form, he says, "Don't be causing trouble for my people, outsiders. If it weren't for the life debt." I'd have killed you right here. Mm. <sighs> and he turns and he starts walking up the hill. Bye, bye Miss, bye, man, bear, mm. man. <laughs> uh, he and lean over, lean over, <laughs> lean over to the dwarf and go. <clears throat> I think I could have took him. No. Try it next time. Your, your charm is well suited to your career. Thank you. Thank you. Um. <laughs> well, how does the our Scottish gentleman? They face four in yours. They say. I'm Nowhere not, in this world. I'm not really used to. I the, didn't know we were allowed in the moot. The whole alive thing. So. Uh, he says, uh, well, "That's the whole point. You hide it we're well. taking you there to take part in the moot. At least to witness it." I didn't think outsiders were allowed to be in it. They're allowed as long as they've got someone escorting them. Hmm. Just know you'll be expected to take part when it comes. We didn't think the hill tribes were bringing orcs. We thought orcs might try to infiltrate. You insinuated that he was fraternizing with the orcs. I'm surprised he didn't try to kill you right then. Yes. It's not exactly a complimentary thing to, to assume about someone. I didn't mean it badly. Reckless as it was, we do not know, now know that the Yarbeer do not have any friends in the orcs. Right. You well, <laughs> some of the Yarbeer do. Mm. The reason you might not have wanted to mention that around Dima <laughs> is he... It's rumored by some to be a half orc. Do you look like wow. one? Uh, sometimes it's hard to tell. Huh. Okay. So pointy teeth and he's a smaller. Half. He was huge. He's pointy big old ears. Big he's a big guy. His his ears didn't look pointed, but they weren't as round as some people's. Okay. Um. So we could probably take a guess that maybe that's probably true it's feasible he may be the it's, t- his it's, granddad might be half work. it's plausible enough to it's where possible. you can see why he's touchy about it yeah, yeah. um and he says uh you must have been long rumored to be a half hook and uh what did not mean to piss him off I just was wondering well, you managed it anyway <laughs> he's quite touchy on it Yuma doesn't like the oaks some of the who ideas does do. quite a few of my people respect him for their honor and for their military prowess. Some of my people saw them fight on the Third Rise. Mm. They're good. They're are strong. You, are you a changer like he is? <laughs> no. No, Yumer's famous for that talent. One uh, thing that is known does. about him is that he is a werebear. He's learned to control it, unlike so many others. Is he a druid of the red? No, no, he's not a priest of any sort. Cursed. Oh. But Ian has turned his curse into a blessing. This works well. <laughs> yes, well. I'm um, to assume he shares the same weaknesses as the other shifters. Certain magics. I suppose so. My people don't use things like that, so we wouldn't know. Who would, who, who would be druids of the red? I mean, there are human some... Are like Usually part, humans. Yeah. The, I thought hill people it, it, would it, it would not have been... I mean, yeah, been, they probably worshipped them. Yeah, it would. It was not a, an unfair guess for you to make mm-hmm. that he was a druid of the red. Mm-hmm. That no. makes sense. Um, yeah. Well, he obviously knew I was a priest of the green. Okay, cool. Yeah. So. Um, I, I say, uh, actually, that spell that you used earlier, uh, when we fought the, the goo man <laughs> thing, the, the light. That is quite effective against the, the lycanthropes and their ilk. Hmm. Give that in mind. Have we? Um, you would think it would help them because four men. Well, Moonbeam yeah. forces uh, shapeshifters back in their regular Yeah, it, it does mm-hmm. the opposite of what you think That's it does. That's cool. Yeah. Um, well, then let's tell the ladies everything's okay and go to bed, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
This is I'll the, let Esteem talk this to third This is the third watch, yeah. yeah. So we're going back to, yeah. So you get a little bit more sleep. So you grumpily. Oh, I'm uh, still watching. I got ten well, hours morning here. comes, the ladies are already, uh, they're already up and ready, and uh, one of them cooks you up, uh, Cooks you up some breakfast of, of grilled herbs and vegetables that she's found. Perfect. Yeah. Um, I love this lady. And then she says, uh, thank you very much. And it was, it was very Does nice to meet you all. Does your friend need, like, peanut butter What's on it or something? Because she's pregnant. No. Oh, okay. Uh, she says, thank <laughs> you very much. Well, you you cupcake. Cupcake. It was very nice to meet you all, and thank you for the shelter. No uh, worries. We, we, and we thank you as well for the offer of escort. Uh, and then they, uh, they say, well, we'll be setting off so our father doesn't worry. But it really has been a, a treasure meeting you all. You two, safe travels. And to you. And they leave. Like, to, as soon as they're up, like not within immediate earshot, do a quick check over uh, my belongings to make sure that they're they all there. manage to steal anything. Evian says, they're not thieves. <laughs> no, don't assume I really don't like her. They're clearly spies. They're clearly spies. Uh, do you have a problem? I, I wish you had that out of my <laughs> Spies for which tribe, do you think? The one that they mentioned? I don't think they're from a tribe at all. Their accents weren't quite right. Well, what do you think they're from? Would I to hazard a guess? The coast, near Murtaugh's Eye. What, are you, what were they doing back over here? Spying. I don't know, but they seem particularly interested in the Dark Hill. Mm-hmm. Spying yes. for who, though? They mentioned that they'd yes. seen another. Yes. What are your people doing here? Well, well, they would have gone without any information. Wouldn't oh. they? I just, uh, I just look back at the door. <laughs> uh, and yet now they know not only your name, but that you will be heading towards Lythreek. Indeed all the they do. of the clans. Next time strange women in the woods ask for shelter, it would be best to tell them no. That's what I said. <laughs> Is this just a girl? Not a bad girl. We're territorial. <laughs> yes, well, sometimes you have to allow the unspeakable to happen in order to avoid more unspeakable things. I'm uh, just curious. Uh, Hindsight is. <laughs> She's <20. laughs> eating pop. <laughs> uh, could you perhaps shed Toasted some light cauliflower. on oh. your mysterious being here? <laughs> There's nothing mysterious about my being here. Well, I have been with you the entire time. We are all caught up. Come on. Yes, but current he looked. But why huh? are he you looked, here? You have a point. Well, we are on our way to. I, I, I no, no, truly no, no, feel no, that no, we no. are on the same page. No, 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 no. <coughs> you left your island. I did. I left our mm-hmm. common. And I well. don't believe your original story of exploring and meeting <coughs> new people. Why are you Why here? would you disbelieve me that? Is this particularly the reason why I left? Well, you aren't very... <sighs> not very nice. <laughs> and if you want to meet new people, you're usually charming, and you are not. <laughs> Believe it or not, the followers are not particularly interested in meeting new people uh, nearly as much as they are bringing, you know, uh, understanding to the way of the Church of Life. If that was my original uh, intent upon leaving from the island, but uh, one thing led to another, and here we are to going to the mute. The mute. Esteem, I'm gonna stop you right there. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if a fellow <laughs> and a human mate, <laughs> what? Will the child be half fallow, or would it be full or full? Human. Typically. How would the child be a full fallow or a full human if half of it is ha- human and half what, of it is fallow? What should I s- what I should it. say is it is simple mathematics. It's appearance. I've never seen that half fallow human before. Well, you simply have not looked hard enough. They do exist. The half breeds are unpredictable in the way that they end up. Would you name about. your child if you had one? What <laughs> does this have to do with anything? Well, obviously, he's asking about the pregnant lady. In my hundreds Sorry, of years, what, I have not what, considered what I would name my child. Not at all. Right. Afraid. So that would mean she's very recently pregnant. 
and he's been with us for a for some number of months. Yes, but I mean, maybe. What was it? Oh, esteem. What were their names again? It was. And. Mm hmm. Anna yes. and Sarah. Thank you! Look at the lockbox on this one. Do you think he cared? <laughs> Have you learned nothing about this man? Oh, he cared more than anyone else he's come across. He did do it's that. No, he didn't. You assumed that he cared. No, you, no, no, no. Let me put it to you. to romance them for him. He has, <laughs> as him. He has been it was cold the most to everyone we've ever I've met. Ever seen. He has been cold to everyone we've ever met. But yet somehow, somehow, a human who has met a fellow before, he does a tent for her. Right. Do you know anything about the fellow religion? Don't care. Yes, I should. <laughs> <clears throat> they believe you're tortured eternally once you die. Then okay, so that means I should lay out a tent. <laughs> it means you shouldn't condemn someone to death. Am I wrong? What you are it? not wrong. So he makes a tent. He just tells them to sleep on the ground. How many have we run across since he had the power to make the tent? Besides Don't know. None. You never just offered me a two. tent. You have a tent! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, just I, saying, I'm it's more weird. I'm interested in this other man that is very clear by now that this fellow is following. <laughs> or is. <clears throat> I think he's, I... Sure. Or is. Do we want to be sure? Yes. yes. Is it important? Yes. Right. So, no, but I don't want to... Zone of him. truth! We need <laughs> to hurt him. I'm not going to hurt him. Okay. I draw a circle under the ground with my spear and say, you know what this is, I assume. This is an interrogation. Well, I was asking about friends. <laughs> That's what I was, Speak sorry. aloud whether or not you know the man that we're talking about, this Calderon, this other dark elf. I'm sorry, I know of uh, no Calderon who has come onto the main. No. Oh, sorry, would you make the charisma <laughs> safe? Oh, sure, yeah. Uh, you, you're not going to be getting the plus three. For <laughs> well, that's a... Uh, Probably a Did 12. Did you do I don't think I have. Yeah, I, I haven't done portents. You haven't done portents. This isn't important. But I, I already rolled it. It's so. important? Oh, okay. Um, so 12 so is not good. You say you, so yeah, so you failed, so you now cannot speak aloud a lie okay. knowingly. I have now asked you to speak aloud this thing. And would you please? The bomb, you could bury them in my backyard, and I wouldn't lie. I would just get really, really <laughs> quiet. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I said was true. I know of no Calderon who has come up to me. Are you familiar with another dark elf that has come this way ahead of you? Any specific one? No. He smiled. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter if he smiled. His spell is working. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, we could beat it out of him. No! You, no. I, I, mean, yes. I wouldn't mind. Yes, I'm certain the spell is working. Attempt to lie. You're ugly. There, see? <laughs> right. You want to see some real acting? Here you go, Russell Crowe. I love you. <laughs> oh my <All> right. <laughs> now, <clears throat> is that settled? Do you have another question? I feel that. I, I do have a question. How are, are you? How are you feeling today? I will answer your question for an answer to one of my but mine was a very innocent question. It was just, I just wanted to know if you were having a good day. Okay. <laughs> Does she need to make a Christmas save too? No, yeah, I'm, I'm no. dumb enough Are that you? I'm just going to do it. You're just going to do it. I yeah. believe that this yeah, is real. Yeah, this spell is working. It is real. Uh, you just that's could, why I... You could resist it. You're that's just why not I didn't say it. No, I, I just you're said like, it. no, you can't lie when you're in the circle. It's exactly. a shiny circle. Exactly. Well, <laughs> I, I, I automatically failed. That's why I called him ugly. I didn't even attempt to roll. <laughs> I mean, I probably confess, but I'm going to... Go ahead. What is the book that you seem to be so concerned about? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> oh, I would really, it's not that. really a secret in our town, is it? Uh, it would probably not be something you wanted spread around super far, but it would be like forbidden here. to be told. We all trust okay. each other, clearly. Okay, cool. uh, that, that is <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> uh, well, isn't you. I look you dead in the eyes, <laughs> and I say, because we are friends... I will tell you that this book is uh, very bad to be in, in the wrong hands. It, it holds secrets of, of the black and things that are unspeakable. It, it once belonged to... It once belonged to yeah. oh, two Genbots. Yes. 
It once belonged mm. to two Gangas, and we have kept it in the temple, hidden away, uh, protecting it to, to, in order to stay with, with the good side of the black. What does it do? Well, um... Um, 24 it, on a religion check. Do I know the book she's talking about? Mm-mm. Okay. It can uh, <laughs> kill armies in seconds. It can. And you just kept that in a small town, protected by one person. Well, I am certain that not anyone can use it to kill armies in seconds. I don't care. That's a weapon. <laughs> you uh, you feel a thud on the back of your head. Oh. Um, uh, and Evian standing there with a book, and she says, "Fairly effective." <laughs> 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 You uh, are atrocious and adopted, and nobody loves you. Uh, usually, oh, Jesus, I, suppose ah, I suppose the spell's not working. My parents are happily married, and I was a natural birth. <laughs> well, he I, cannot knowingly speak a lie. No one likes you. Usually, oh, well, he could say anything he likes because he doesn't seem to know much at all. Oh, it is working. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am afraid that is one of the limitations. Oh, okay. Anyway, usually Oz. Uh, I'm gonna it's, kill her. I swear to God. It's guarded if you were by... to kill her, I'm going to be on her side. Oh, it's, no, it's, I'm standing it's, too close. It's guarded by a priest of the black who has spent oh, I passed my own <laughs> decades uh, protecting and honing their skills. Who are good at hitting things? Oh. <laughs> and I just leave. Hmm. So are we done? Oh, my, my, I'm so nice to death. My, my day is going well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> as she's leaving, the steam, going, what's your real name? Esteem Leech. That's what I wanted to ask, but I didn't want to be rude. Well, there we are. Esteem, have you mated with the human before? <laughs> Damned and dark. I'm with it. I'd erase the zone. I just, draw, I just draw a line through it with my spear and go, this isn't. Oh, wait, wait, I'll we, have no fellow. We no, rested, no. yes. Oh, uh, you did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, all around. Oh, my God. <laughs> Love it. We're having a good day. Today. All right. It's a good morning. There you go, guys. That was like a solid however many Can minutes someone give of me a goal? nothing <laughs> happening. <laughs> That's content. Yes, I'll get you gold. It's that quality D20 experience. All right, well. They learned my backstory. Yeah. We got one out of it. Yeah. <laughs> As you continue um, onward. That's interesting. Okay. You, uh, you break from the forest, and you can now see the entrance to the valley ahead. Can I get who just rolled the last one? Oh, he did, so it's my turn. Yeah. All right, D100. All right. This is our last day of travel. 51. Actually, technically, this is their last night. This is our, this is our last day of travel. Yeah. Whew. yeah. 51. Mm. Okay. You can see, watching you from, uh, from a cliff, mm. overlooking this area as you head down into the valley, in the morning you can see... Uh, a uh, a man standing there, and he's sort of leaning against an axe, and then you see. I'm gonna kind of tap the elbow of uh, our uh, our monk here, and then our spy comrade, and kind of gesture just with a slight movement of my head over that way. I'm sure she already knows. Evian just nods. Uh, But you can see four other people with him. uh, And they, they're dressed as the hill tribes do. And they're wearing, uh, and they're wielding, uh, you can see several of them have maces uh, or clubs, uh, as well as short swords slung at their hips. And some of them have, uh, have bows uh, or slings. Seems like we're being watched. Are they looking at us? Yeah. They're just oh. watching you as you pass. Mm. Creepy. A little oh. bit. Mm. Oh, you just waiting? Yeah. It just keeps his eyes on you. Oh, that's usually my job. All right, then. All right, do you want to hear the player? Oh, me? Sorry. Oh. I learned how to read it, so go me. This is good. <coughs> wow. Are you all right? Yep. This is a problem. It's coming in my own there. It's all good. All right. Do you need, all a, right. Do you need a thingy? No. Uh, yeah, thank you. So I got a thirteen, everyone. Oh, that's great! Wow. That's stellar. Uh, no, thirteen is uh, Demogorgon. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, whoops. No, you, you didn't know that one? No, it's not. He's not even a thing in this setting. But if you roll a thirteen, <laughs> and you're Haley, it and it's and it's today. Do. All right. So and Colby's wearing purple. Then Colby's always there. We go. Purple. It's on for the stream. Yeah. We matched today. 
All right, so uh, up ahead, you can see the uh, the rise in the cliff that's supposed to lead up into uh, into where Lightroot is. Mm-hmm. And as you approach, a shadow passes over you. Oh, uh, look up. Yep. Okay. Circling high above, you see what looks like it might be a dragon. <laughs> um. It's a dragon. Mm. I don't see what that. might be. How would it? How would we not be able to d- discern whether or not it's Dragons a dragon? It looks unique. like it just has a. I mean, it's it's so up high, and it's between you and the sun that it it looks just like a shadow. But he's definitely got bat-like wings and a, a tail and four legs. So hmm. does it's the tail look strange? Does the tail have a point to it, like a stinger? Several. Oh. Ah. There we go. Okay. Suddenly, uh, the shadow turns towards you to the end. as another Magical. swoops Magical. up out of the hill. Oh, another oh, one, boy. We got two. And comes down. Roll for initiative. Okay. <clears throat> Not as. Oh. Strong as that would be. I rolled pretty bad too. Hey, I'm, you I'm get reviews on those. I got a one. I'm. I'm gonna have you. Oh, I did not have. Oh. Okay, that was a higher number. It's okay. All right, Osborne. Nine. Mm. Esteem. Twelve. I'm the winner. UI. Thirteen. Thaddeus. One. <laughs> Currently, these creatures look to be 120 feet above you. Good night. Good to know. All right. I don't I have do full person. Sorry, y'all. You can't do anything about that. Sorry, you, can you can see they're both, like, circling now. Oh, it's yeah. fine. We Esteem could zap them if you wanted to. Come at us. I'm on, uh, are there trees around us? No, hundred foot blind. Yeah, I guess they're coming towards oh, us in a hostile manner. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna lay on the ground and like on my back. Worked real well against the bear guy. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna go if I'm gonna. I'm gonna lay on my back. And I'm gonna get ready so if one gets near me, I can go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what an excellent stratagem. Esteem. Uh, well, yeah, I can't reach him with anything at this point. Magic yeah, boy, missile? I think. Oh, I guess magic missile. How might. high are they? 120 feet. 120 feet. I don't have magic yeah. missile out, so I don't have the. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the range on magic missile. Chill touch can absolutely do it. So that's some. Worst comes to worst. It is the range on magic missile. So I think I'll, I'll. Yeah, I'll just point at one of them and crank out a single charge. Uh, <laughs> just get his attention. Uh, for all right. All right. Four, eight. So eleven force damage. Okay. Right, as you blast it, sort of wheels in the sky, its wings pulling close to its body. The, the wings curl back out, and you can see the maw of a lion gaping open. Yeah. As it swoops down, these are indeed Faelfae's foul creatures, manticores. Who's Faelfae? What are you Felfe doing here? was uh, the king of the elves. We've talked about this before. He's, he's an elf hitler. The yeah, real bad dude. Oh, yeah, we talked right. about it on stream before. Yeah. yeah. Kind of whole... Greatest sorcerer that the world ever seen, crossbred a bunch <clears> of hideous <throat> abominations. Right. Bad news no. bears. Probably, probably a terrible cook. Osborne is going to put his hand over his head, and as he does that, dark clouds begin to roll over oh. the manacore. <laughs> manacore's in the uh. air. And then... <laughs> oh. Lightning strikes right in between them, hopefully hitting both. Uh, well, they are circling. Yeah, you can't hit the air I'll hit between one. the two of them. I'll hit one. No. Um, it must make a deck save. It's going to be a 14. They passed, but that's okay. Still takes... 3d10. Yeah, for that, 3d10. That's a really good it's number, good though. Nine. 18 divided by 2 is 9. All right. And nine which one is the one he hit or the other one? Let's go, with the one? Let's go with the one that he hit already. All right. I heard it scream after being hit, and so I just went... All right. right on its back. It roars... And starts as it starts to fall. It falls about twenty feet before beating its wings and shooting back up into the air, launching. So it's now about a hundred feet above you, launching several spikes at you from its tail. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so we've got a nineteen, a sixteen, and a twenty-three. One hits my shield, the other two can get me in the shield. And that's going to be two nine piercing damage. So that's going to be total 18. 18. Okay, I was like, what? <laughs> All right. The other, as it circles, sees this target that's now splayed out below it. <laughs> 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 that's 
Uh, would it have disadvantage against a prone target? Mm-hmm. Uh, since it's directly <laughs> overhead, I'm going to say no. Normally, yes, but since it's overhead. Right. Then she's uh, actually a better target. So that's an 18. Well, I'm not like starfish. <laughs> I thought you were starfish. No, I, I kind of was too. 18, yeah. 20, and a crit. Bummer. Ooh, You're going to want to catch that crit. So it's going to be 10 damage. Can I do that? Are yeah. they projectiles? Yeah. yeah. 10 Tails damage. Much. 10. And 14 damage. So 10, 14 crit. 14. Yeah. Do, are any of those close one. to your AC at all? No. How does this work? The same damage by 1d10 plus, plus your dex, dex mod plus, plus your mod level. Level. Okay. Mm-hmm. The biggest one was 14. You probably got this. 8 plus dex. 9, 10, 11. Plus monk level. You caught that one. Good. Yeah. Alright. Two of them hit though. you and then you can, you can throw it you like 20, 60. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, you yeah. do not have that. It is still 100 feet away. Oh, okay. And then both of them fly 20 feet back up as I start to circle again. Okay, so it was 10 and... It was one before 10. 10? 10. 10, 10. Yeah, 10, 10, and then nothing. So you All right, 20. that is. <sighs> I'm just going to wait. I've got a javelin out, and I'm just kind of looking. So I'm ready in an action, too. If one of them comes within even long range... I'm, I'm it is? It's so 120 feet? Oh, is it 120? Mm-hmm. Ooh! 3120. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's <laughs> give, give it a go. Here's one chunk it. All right. Yeah, I'll just I'll chunk just it at the one that had smoke so, coming yeah, out. The first that. one is. Uh, can I use your thing? Why are you rolling an advantage? I'm this rolling a disadvantage. Advantage. Can I use your? Yeah. Thing? Go ahead. What happens in that case if I use his thing to kill uh, the other one? It actually makes it super advantage because oh. you can then choose which of the dice to use okay. with that. Right, so that first that was that was a fifteen. So it, I I got him. Yeah. Uh, so I <laughs> did from the ground. Just take a massive throw with it and just whistles up. He just sees the smoke it. from the yeah. wind. Yeah. Good. Uh, that's going to be five damage into that one. Your javelin arcs <laughs> upwards in a, a nearly perfect straight line until it plunges into one of the creatures, which starts careening downwards. All right. Damn, I'm gonna that's a good grab, throw for grab, a, for grab a my second wolf. javelin and <laughs> just fling that one at disadvantage again. Oh, okay. <clears throat> that's it, it, eight. And that one flies wide and comes arcing back down, landing on the ground some hundred feet in front of him. No, I'm not <laughs> Lands <back>. right next <laughs> to me. <laughs> I'm ready two punches. <laughs> all right, you, 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 just, you can only ready the one. Uh, how much is my jump? Oh, I'm sorry, before you are. Uh, Evian is aiming a crossbow, and she's watching as one of them circles until she takes a shot and lands square. Nice. Wow. How much is my jump? Distance? Long range. How do I discover that? <laughs> Alexa, ask the DM what is jump distance. She can hear you. She can Alec- triple the creature's jump distance. <laughs> triple no, oh, she just did the jump, jump. spell. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this was more useful the other day. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's right here. Uh, long jump, move 10 plus feet and jump a number of feet up to your strength score. Uh, or high jump, move 10 plus feet and jump a number of feet equal to 3 plus your strength mod. Hmm. So that you can jump weird. two feet. That seems weird. Yeah, but I also... F- Stuff of the wind to get six. Yeah. You can jump one foot if you do a standing high jump. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like monks should be able to I mean, hop I, a little better. I yeah. can jump, well, I guess my strength is higher than eight, so... Can't use my dex instead? I'm like, That's his strength. That's Since your monk, I'll let you use dex. Okay. So then it'd be four... You could flip in here. Plus then it's six. Two is six. six. Times two is twelve. Twelve. That's pretty Wait, high. Wait, with step of the wind? Yeah. It triples your no, jump distance. Uh, this distance is doubled. Oh, I thought it tripled it. Jump triples it. Triples it. Oh, oh! I thought yeah, step yeah. of the wind also tripled. Uh, yeah. Then I'll just wait. I'll just okay. go. I'll go behind someone. You got a bow. Cause do I? Yeah, you've used it before. Oh, yeah. The yeah. sure girl. <laughs> I do you were out of it today. <laughs> well, you made me play Bindle, and then I forgot everything about this character. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then I'll do that. Hey, this mind only has one for one character. <laughs> I do. I have too many characters. I was going to say, I have like 17. It's a long bow. Okay. All of them are dumb. Uh, well, I'm not very good at it. What you got? 15. That'll hit. And a 9. That'll nine. Uh... So. Alright, so one of your plus, shots whistles into the air. Six. Right. Slamming home. Osborne. 
boy. I'm just going to call lightning down again on the one that's Boom. smoldering. So dex, dex save. save. On that one, that one poor feller. It got a 13. It ha- failed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. oh. So 14 plus 8, 22, 22 damage. 22 lightning damage on him. Okay. I'm just standing back. It's just... <laughs> As the lightning strikes, it tumbles down out of the air before catching itself Good on God. a gust of wind and flying up. Uh, and with a roar, it flies back towards the cliff it came from, the other one following behind. Hey. Right, so Pansy! <laughs> well, we scared them off. I can only imagine that's the best we could have hoped for. Mm. Um, I just twist my hands and the clouds dissipate. You could still hit them from here. Can I try to get the one as it's running away? If you wanted to, you could. Deck safe. Okay. <laughs> uh, it got a 22. Oh, oh still eight. take half. Maybe that'll be enough. Maybe not. 12, 14, 7. Right. You blast it again, and you can see it sort of struggling to carry itself on the wind. Then I'm going to dissipate the clouds and let it go. Okay. Do, I have, do I have space for one more toss that, with a javelin? That uh, that's a bit far. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right. Well, we handled that pretty squarely. Mm. I'm not sure about. Uh, but she's got two, two like <laughs> holes in her clothes. Yeah, I've got needles. I'm pick, picking out. bolts came from. Are you all right? Mm-hmm. Both of you. I could use a bit of healing. You'll be fine. Walk it off. How much are you missing? Uh, eighteen. Sure. Cut. All right. Near the end of the day, you finally find yourselves at Light 3. After what days of hard traveling with your two new companions, you push through the last fringes of a massive copse of trees and see the landscape open up before you. Spread out across acres of relatively flat land in the valley is a massive camp town surrounded in a hastily put together wooden log wall. Smoke drifts up in lazily climbing spirals here and there across the camp, and the sounds of rough men shouting, sparring, and working fill the air. A single modest path, little more than a worn-out stretch of grass, winds its way from the nearest scrabble roadway towards an ad hoc wooden gate in the side of the log wall. As you step, the snow sinks down beneath your feet. Uh, It's clear that the snow has fallen fairly recently here. Uh, At relatively even intervals... Pairs of spikes driven into the earth rise up on either yeah, side of the path. Hmm. Atop each spike is a severed head, oh. some old and rotted out, with others flat, fresh and red. Jeez. Are they of certain things? They're just either off human, human heads? Human heads. Okay. Uh, Let's try not to offend anyone. Yeah. I agree. Hmm. As you approach, Halvor says, You know what that will mean. Shall we? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> As we go in. You should let me do the talking unless you ask the question directly. (laughs) Okay. Once we're inside and I've vouched for you, then you'll have a bit more freedom. But don't do anything stupid. (laughs) Yes. I look at the, uh, the, whatever her name is. Evelyn. She looks back at you and smirks. I I put my head over towards the door. She wants me. <laughs> she passes by and says, I don't. <laughs> she moves on ahead. Uh, Your powers of observation are astounding. Astute. That's what I'd use. So, uh, Halvor yes, leads that, you directly for the gate. All right. Uh, as he heads forward, uh, he reaches the gate and he says, Hail! In the old speech. I've come to join the moot. But Fiaka. People sort of look down and look him over, and you can hear one of them say, And who's that you've got with you there? They don't look like Yabia. He says, These men have sworn a life debt to. And this. These two women as well. <laughs> uh, the, the guys up on the wall laugh. Yeah, I don't uh, think they're And one of them says, your life was saved by a pair of dainty lasses. <laughs> Evian smiles and curtsies. Yeah, same. Okay. Oh. 
I giggle a little. And he says, uh, he says, those two flowers look like they couldn't save a bee from being trampled by a, by a foot. I whisper under my bed, don't worry, you can see flowers at it. I wink and point at myself. <laughs> uh, really confused. Halvor responds, just listen, please. We're here to join the moods. I've brought these. I vouch for them. All right. But you know whatever trouble they get into, it's on your head. Literally. Of course. I know the rules. I know the law. And they nod and they say, uh, they say, All right. Ogskov Fjaker. It's going to be down that way. And he gestures off towards uh, a, a hut that seems to have been put together that has some smoke dripping off, mm-hmm. off out of it. Um, and he says, Head straight that direction. Eamor's people arrived this morning. Mm-hmm. And they're not looking for outsiders to come through their space. All right, we'll keep that in mind. And gates open, and in you walk. I guess maybe it would be beneficial. I didn't react to any of that. I'm thinking it might be beneficial for me to pretend I don't know the old speech. No, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Alvor says... Oh, They're both clearly yeah. priests of the old face. So, so I I, yeah. Alvor says, follow me and keep your eyes down. You meet someone in the eyes, they might want to challenge you. You don't want that. So, I just look up. I <laughs> immediately, <laughs> to my feet, and I'm like nervously sweating. Because I don't want to mess up. Right, follow me. Okay. Eyes down. Oh, look at mushroom. Yes, they are. <laughs> he leads the way, uh, and you can hear, those of you who understand old speech. Is uh, everybody? Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, cool. yep. You can hear as, uh, as you pass. Poor as, Dragonborn. Uh, he would have been like <laughs> several different on? comments. <laughs> well, he's here too. Oh, well, um, he's like, what? Yeah, you can hear several different comments like, uh, that's one of the brutes that fought with the elves. What's he doing here? Well, it's probably good that he can't hear it. His head is looking good on a spike. Mm. You hear a... <laughs> Look at that wee little half-man. <laughs> Tiny little creature. Looks like a babe. <laughs> oh, I stop. Can you hear me, little baby? I put my hand on your back and we continue walking as... It's just like little, oh, little patty. I could cradle him in the arms. My four-year-old son's bigger than this fella. And look at him. He's got scruff on his neck. <laughs> I stop and say, what? <laughs> no. I can't. <laughs> and he Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Oh, you're very smart for your age, knowing how to speak already. In broken old speech, I say, don't really know saying you are. <laughs> Not only is he a little half man, <laughs> but the best part is, he's a half wit! There it is. <laughs> um, the size matches his mind, the stature of his body is more than that does, of his brain. Does he have Shh, a drink sir. anywhere near him? What? Does he have drinks near him? Yeah, he's holding one. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to grab the vial of fungus okay. in one hand. Oh. oh my god. Grab my pouch of ale in the other hand, so sleight of handing it. Okay. Roll side of hand. Okay. Oh my. This is murder what you're attempting <laughs> right now. Hey, that's that not was, bad. That was real good. Uh, that's not bad. Sleight of hand plus one, so 15. Why are we murdering? Right. Someone. Uh, so slowly, horribly. Murdered. I'm only gonna. G- I'm only gonna give them like a drop. It doesn't okay. matter. A drop. All right. It does. So, so, so it will point. at least burn him. Okay. Not. I'm not going for lethality. I'm going for too late destruction. <laughs> so uh, you take a drop. And you, you put it in your thing, and you're handing him the glass. Yeah. Uh, as a. This is a bad plan. I'll refill your drink, master. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a little slave. A half-wit, half-man slave. Oh, thank you for bringing him to us, Halvor. And he takes, can I, uh, can I ask 
accidentally, like... Can they, oh, they have the perception whether or not they saw that. That's fair. Uh, yeah, I'm, That's I'm, fair. I'm walking. I think we're all I have, walking. I, I attempted <laughs> to pull you. You didn't go. Okay. I got an 18. I, I'm going to message you. Uh, we're going on ahead. Feel free to catch up. Uh, I'm going to accidentally sort of bump it out of his hands, and then in old speech... Oh, I'm, did you see it happen? Yeah. yeah I'm going to... Uh, and I saw you get weird, so that's weird. I'm going to, like, yeah. put my hand, like, on his, like, bicep or whatever, and be like, oh, I'm, I'm so... I'm so sorry, and, like, act, like, flustered. Like, hot and bothered. <laughs> like, uh, as, you are right as now. she just... As she knocks oh, it out, I go, uh, prostitutes. <laughs> you prostitute. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, he doesn't speak the language very good, I'm afraid. I see. But that. Uh, I'm afraid I'm owed a drink. Uh, uh, yes, uh, and I'll uh, go here another. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll fill out. Are you doing it? No, I'm not gonna. Uh, do it. Some like money, I guess. Uh, money time. is not gonna work. Let's see this. What's this? I don't have any ale on me. Uh, I'll extend my hand out. It at your feet. Aw. <laughs> Maybe I do. Come on, another half wit. I look at you. Very seriously. I'm not there. Gone. Uh, go. My glass is as empty as your mind. Uh, and so it's wet on the ground, right? I'm gonna scoop part of the earth in it and give it back to him. Like there's no drink in it. It's just like wet. Earth. <laughs> he just he just you did know, it. Sir? Yeah. He's so. He reaches a hand on the mug. I'm going to kill this. And grab some. And he just does this. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> he does this right here. Sam! <laughs> ah, good mask for the half man! Oh, good sport, lads! And he turns uh, around I, I turn, and walks off. I turn to boss you, I... I hand you a nap. Do I know <laughs> if they can speak common or not? I'm not going to ask him. <laughs> they can probably speak. Halvor can. Could you speak common? Uh, Halvor can. <laughs> you don't speak more, right? <laughs> Halvor can and, and Chief Dubro could. Or was he speaking He was speaking Share a knowing glance that she, you are... I'm literally yeah. looking at you going, like, steam is coming off yes. this mud on my face. I pat this you is, on the back and I <laughs> nod in agreement and we shuffle on. Also, I give you like. What's a his song. name? That's his name. Yeah. You didn't ask it. As we're walking off, what's your name? Uh, he turns and he says, "Oh, so it can construct a sentence." <laughs> my, it. my name's Narlock. 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 I'm sure that'll be important. Write it down. Oh, what's your name, <laughs> little fella? You'll soon find out. Oh, oh, I'm swooping down. I'm shaking in my very Does this moot have any, like, battle to the death? Oh, they so do. Oh, I'm <laughs> freaking writing his name down. Oh, I'm so scared. And he looks, he's, he leans Probably down to get on your magic. level. God, I'm going to kill him, no matter what. And he looks you right in the eyes, and he says, I see what you're doing here. You've heard the legends, haven't you? No. You've heard the legends of the silly little man that what? thought he could take on Calder a car. And you think that you're coming in here <laughs> and you're you. seeing... Oh, no. He's talking, talking, talking about you. Oh, Flynn. No, he, says, he says, you've heard those legends. And you think you're going to be the next silly little man to take on someone ten times his size. Well, I tell you, lad. He looks you right in the eye and spits on the ground in front of you. I don't count to three before I fight. And he stands up and turns and walks away. So, wait. As he, he looks back over his shoulder. In that story that you just summed up, Maria there was a man and an orc, yes? So now, you're saying are, are I'm you the man just, and you're you saying in, you're an orc. Are you now in perfect old speech? Yeah, but okay. I mean like perfect. perfect. He says, I'm tougher than any orc you've ever seen, little boy. I'll meet you. In the moot. I look forward to crushing your skull. Um, as he's going, I, as we walk around, walk back, I'd like to cast Entangle enough to trip him. Are you sure? Just literally like, oh, he didn't notice a vine and he turned sure? around. Give me a stealth check. 
Okay. A, a oh, wait, stealth, is stealth it check. My God. They can't see it? No, yeah, that's, spike that's, growth. That's, that's spike. Oh, don't No, do I don't want to do too much. <laughs> I don't want to do damage. Do I literally just wondered, could I do druid craft? To just trip him? Just one literally one. grow a vine. Uh, for him right, to roll me a sleight of hand. Okay. Can it still be wisdom? No. <laughs> this one's just right sleight of hand. That's still not bad. 16. Uh, he, he he trips over a vine, and he, he gets, like, people around are laughing at him, and he pushes himself back up, wiping the mud from his face. <laughs> uh, as you've now met him measure for measure, and he turns back around and he says, That was a spell! I don't know. I saw your lips moving! I saw your hands! All right, we probably as you were turned around. We are. <laughs> <laughs> you I saw my lips while you were turned around. I saw it! You know, halfway. You're a witch! No. He's going to die. You're a witch! You are! And several people are now gathering around. Uh, no. He's too daft to be a witch. One of them says, Calm down. Yes. Calm down. He's not a witch. Obviously. <laughs> you ever I still that? have mud, like, on my face. <laughs> One person says, Joke's on him because I like mud. Well, if I were a witch, first spell I'd cast would be to make me taller than two feet high. Yeah, it's exactly. Uh, and he says, <laughs> Witch or no, you die tomorrow. Okay. See you in the field. <laughs> me, if I turn in the mood, it's a good day, sir. And I push him away. We're leaving. You're going to pay for this. Yes, he will surely die. I'm just walking away. Hands. I'm just walking away with a smile. You shall kill face. him. Good, good day. As you catch up to Halvor, Halvor says, and the two of us. That was a very stupid thing you've done. It was so shocked. stupid! Shocked and amazed. You push a halfling, we you push back. Died. We almost died. That has described no halfling I've ever met. We almost then died. haven't met any. We've met one, and he was not quite so abrasive. We've never met a single halfling. We've met a steel folk. Uh, it's it's not a halfling. Well, uh, it's a halfling yes, spirit. It yeah. Okay. We well, he it. obviously wanted to fight. <laughs> he was ready to fight, so... Um, I've met many halflings, and no. I've you're... met many dwarfs, and you look and sound like none of them. That's fair. Look and sound like none of them? <laughs> yeah, you look weird. There you go. You're blonde, <laughs> and you don't speak country. B- blonde wouldn't be irregular. Oh. No. Well. <laughs> 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 and the DM's drunk. <laughs> Sylvian <coughs> says, how did I know it was going to be you that did something stupid? Yes. Let's move! <laughs> move on! Ah, yes, that must be it. And uh, you continue walking. We almost died. Today was almost our last day. Alright. I have a secondary character ready. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking over our shoulder for the orcs and your rivals. So, keep your eyes down and your mouth closed. Eventually... Tell them not to make fun of me. Um... No. Then I won't. You're going to die. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> you arrive. I this is man. your. You <laughs> did this to me. You arrive at a uh, a great high beamed wooden hall. Uh, and among it, there there in inside the hall are two long tables with a throne at the end, a wooden throne. Like, and clearly, all of this is constructed for the moon. Yeah, it's a lot of trees. And like, uh, every so often they just like ah a forest. And it, well, and like I mentioned, uh, the trees ended very abruptly outside yeah. this place. Yeah, and okay. there's a a, wooden, a log wall all the way around. It's like the Olympics, yeah. <laughs> so, basically. You know, it's kind of bankrupt Greece. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it does. That's what it does. So, uh, sorry, Grace. As you uh, Grace. as you enter. Hi, buddy. God, these hiccups are killing me. <laughs> as you enter. Yep. We need a moment. He needs a second. moment. Twelve Give him Mississippis. Like... Do you have hiccups now? What, is it contagious? No. Okay. No, no sir, Mr. Gold. <clears throat> so, as you enter, there is a, a man sitting at the end, <laughs> yeah, right. of, the right. <laughs> sitting at the end of, uh, of one hall, of the hall. Oh. And there, there's a host of people drinking and feasting in this hall. As you enter, all fall silent as all eyes turn to these strange looking folk entering the hall. Us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To the ground! Mm. The Why? man at the throne stands and he says, 
Who are you? I don't recognise any of you. And you're of strange peoples to be coming all the way out here to the moot. Er, can I push... How... He's a little drunk. He wants some froth. <laughs> Alvor! <laughs> Why do you bring these outsiders here? <laughs> you can't look strong after that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Alvor says, Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, the season ends there. Right. <laughs> Good night, guys. Streets died! Alright, we'll see you in 2019. Alright, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, be, to these people I owe a life debt all oh, this is an old speech to these people I owe a life debt they saved me when I had no other options and uh, he says and you repay this life debt by bringing them here to the crucible <laughs> I'm not pleased with your timing, Halvor. <laughs> Shut up! Halvor says, um, they won't take up much space. They simply wanted to see how our people do things. <laughs> and then nods and he says, fine. They're allowed to be here. Perhaps. But. Okay. <laughs> First, tell me, how did it come to pass that you all saved Halvor, <laughs> such that he now owes you a debt? Are you really asking me? Because I don't remember what we did. We're yesterday. the two worst people to be asking this question. I'm gonna get some trouble, and right you don't know. I don't even remember this guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. You wanna, you wanna feed her? <laughs> I'm gonna... I don't know if I can stealthily do that while he's staring message? at it. Yeah, uh... Well, I'm technically staring at her. I'm gonna. Yeah, but she's right there. Just go uh, like this. Apologize. Uh, and. Uh, Say that. Whatever you say is going to have to be canon. We're because gonna, there is no back. There's no. No. no so whatever you say mm-hmm. has to be. Did, did we actually decide on the story? I don't remember so. I don't how, remember this guy. I don't even remember what happened. Stupid about, we, nothing happened. We, we didn't, didn't really we didn't actually him. save him. He's a deserter. Yeah, we just we that that's our story. So We're this like is literally improv right now. You're improving yeah. how we say. Yep, things. this yeah. is your tale, girl. Go Tell for us it. Too. We'll help. Um, all right. Uh, then I will say uh, <clears throat> that. Uh, oh boy. W- we were. You hear a voice oh. from the table. <gasps> Spinner along. Yeah. <laughs> This is the worst story I've ever heard, and I haven't heard a word of it yet. I apologize. I'm I'm very drunk. Uh, (laughs) It's been a very long day. Uh, When you say that, the (laughs) thing about being drunk, the whole hall erupts into raucous laughter. Uh, Good. Uh, In my current state of mind, I remember that we were uh, fleeing from... uh, Manticores! You are running away! Well... We were fleeing from the orcs from their their attack on our our town, and we managed to find... The man in the chair cocks an eyebrow as you say that. We managed to find uh, some people in in your woods uh, under attack. Uh, He was one of them, and uh, with our numbers now that we were together, our odds were were better against the, the few orcs that were left, and... We managed to uh, save him from from dying because they were like, Wah. and he was like, Wah. "That's exactly what there's, he some, there's some laughter. <laughs> Strange. I'm trying to really. Uh, how how far is just like nearby towns over run by orcs? Where haven't... are you from? 
Mm. We are from. I'm from here. You're from Aberdubby, which, which is, is way way down back way that way. Way hickety heck over oh, there. Oh, I thought this was like. Yeah, no, we we fled a long way, methinks. Okay, well, uh, let me. Uh... Maybe yeah. she's from there. Maybe she's from somewhere else. Can I do like she's a history not from check there. She to know sound like this them. area? Well, yeah, like... yeah, you can do that. Um, I'm looking at history, which I never can find. Uh, plus one, so like nineteen, maybe something that might. Uh, Tarsdale's not far from here, but they haven't been running by works. But Oglesby has. Oglesby has, yeah, very recent, very recent. But why would? Are there towns near, like the Hayfork and stuff? There are towns near the Hayfork, yeah. So we could say we were. In Oglesby, they got attacked. We were looking for help. I'm making occasional, vaguely panicked eye contact at you. They were looking for help, so we went to get help. Trying not to notice. <laughs> and there are orcs on the coast. I mean, that's true, right? Orcs are on the coast. I'm sweating. Eyebrows still raised, he says. <laughs> <laughs> it's canon. Uh, eyebrows still raised. <laughs> it's canon. <laughs> What a weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> God, it was the worst. Uh, drink your drink upside down. Yeah. That's not a real thing. Yes, it that is. Swear swear to God it is. I'm not doing any of these Do things. it and go like that. No. You will just drown. No, you won't. You'll drink. This is. Show me how to do that. Interesting. That's very recent that Oglesby had troubles with the orcs. Well, we only recently Especially came since Oglesby gave in willingly. Will you a flee? Yes, we were on a mission to seek Oglesby for to give them aid. We thought they were in trouble, but when we got there, they had sided with the orcs. Yeah, Halvor's been gone for the better part of a month. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, but that's when we ran into him. Halvor says, Yes, my. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just drop? <laughs> the, 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 the truth! It's, 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 it's a <laughs> prosecutor. <laughs> the truth! He says, I took D4 damage. <laughs> Interesting. Are you a dwarf? Long way from home. <sighs> Those clothes you're wearing. Is he still in old speech? Yeah. Alright, I'm I'm just kind of looking at him. I begin translating. Well, you don't understand. I, wait, he's not all there. I'll translate for him. Do you know dwarvish? Yes. Oh, uh, when you say he's not all there, a couple people laugh. <laughs> uh, and he's a... So. I literally trans. Yeah. In dwarven, yeah. No, word for word. Oh, word so word? the the not all there. The, starting with he's no, not all there. No, not all oh, there okay. was an old speech. After that, oh, okay. I begin. He says, You wear the colors of the great kingdom to the east. Mm. Yes, I say in, I guess, common. Mm. Uh, just because that seems like a, a good middle of the road language. And yet you travel here. He seems to have understood, by the way. And yet you travel here, but he's still speaking old speech. <laughs> With a priest of the green and a priestess of the black. Yes. Orcs make many enemies. He speaks the truth? I didn't ask you. She says you were sent on a mission to do this. What sort of lord commands your people and hers? I don't ask questions. So who sent you? They brought me. They brought you? With them. I've seen your people burn down villages, cut down women and children for failing to convert. I and don't yet, have a sword. You don't have a sword. Can't cut. But you may not have a sword, but you're certainly leaning on a spear. Yes. Right. 
can fight. W- cut down... In, in Dwarvish, I much more quickly ask, cut down women and children, did he say? Like, kill them when they're running. I... It back to common. I would not kill running away. Oh, roll a performance check, by the way. Okay. He says, mm-hmm. boy. Yeah. You got is, is, right? it, is it 12? Right. <laughs> so, you, from the famously zealous people, although of a race not normally known to inhabit those lands. Come here. <laughs> With two of our heathen priests. I finally feel and gratitude for that. <laughs> a fallow. I don't know why he's here. I'm still looking down. So I'll ask you again. <laughs> Who sent you to Oglesby? Laura Mayer. <laughs> I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. Who's who really did send us to Who do you think? I honestly don't remember. Lef. Lef. Lef and, and, Lef. and King Akert. Okay. Kind of. They sent you to uh, to the past. Yeah, and then we ran into... Uh, the Council of Freeholding Lords. Yeah. Yeah. The Freeholding Lords. Don't, don't say that now. I didn't. <laughs> uh, oh, he, he, oh, Colby hiccuped the camera. Uh, no, I, I, I just looks over and he says, You don't speak dwarven, right? <laughs> so, Alright. He says, Hmm. And the fallow. <clears throat> oh no. I am so pleased and I am so ready. Uh, before he starts questioning, I'm gonna raise my hand. Have you seen a fallow before? I've met a fallow that... before. I... <laughs> what was his name? He recognized a fallow. I didn't ask him his name before I cut off his head. <laughs> I literally just read it. <laughs> Your people are cowards during the Third Rise. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hiding on their island. You don't often see many of the cowardly people of the sea crawling over here. So, what brought you out of your hole? I'm going to translate in common. (laughs) I understand the old speech. Oh, do you? I am learned in my travels. Yes, I did leave the island of Fallow Hearth um, to learn. I am a scholar. I was simply a scholar until I was caught up in the mess with these fellows. Do these, do these, I'm going to call them barbarian clans. Do these barbarian clans... That's what they are. Yeah. Yeah. Do Do they have, do they know of the school? Of the... They probably know of the academy, yeah. What are their feelings about it? Yeah, I don't know. That's something you probably wouldn't know. Okay. Uh, but you do know that you, most of the time... <laughs> you used magic and they called you a witch. witch. Yeah, <laughs> I understood that. Yeah. <laughs> most of the time, people who follow the old gods, they trust warlocks, they trust druids. Bizarrely. They are not typically big fans of wizards or of sorcerers. Nobody trusts sorcerers. <laughs> yeah. They're, um, they're I trust Flynn kids. with uh, my whole the, being. Uh, the High Elves trust sorcerers. Oh, yeah, yeah, but no one trusts the High Elves. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, a scholar. A scholar who carries a sword. One must defend oneself in unfamiliar territory. Yes. Well, you'll forgive me. Two big burly guys come walking up towards you, and they tear off your coat and throw it on the ground, Rude. leaving oh. just hands. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> ah, gross! The, uh, I, I, uh, the, Do you really <laughs> keep hands? <laughs> in yeah. Why? Well, I thought you only had one 
There's more than one. I just start going hands. I literally just back up like what the. Uh, Who is this guy? He nods and he says, "I thought I smelled the stench of death." How could we never smell it? How do we know (laughs) this? As you may know, my people uh, revere our dead. But this is weird. Revere. Yes. My people revere our dead when we put them beneath the ground so that their spirits may pass safely into the afterlife. Amen. Your people. <laughs> your people blaspheme their ancestors and enslave them long after death. Is that. Is that Grandpa? <laughs> no. Is one of these no, Grandpa? These, no, these are Grandpa. Okay, good. <laughs> no. Good. No, these, these are all bad guys. Oh. Um, yeah. yeah, they're hands of murderers. Yeah, and stuff. And stuff. So um, I understand that our beliefs vary between people. These are the uh, companions that I have had that have not made it through our adventure. He nods to one of the guys who brings him one of the hands. He takes it in his hand, uh, and he looks it over. And he says, it's a weak hand. And he takes it and he just goes, <laughs> Oh! It's not like they were my family, but still, it kind of sucks. 5784. <laughs> <laughs> Next to him, there's a, a brazier burning and he just drops it in. And that scent of death now fills the hall. Is, yeah. is that bad? It, is that? I what literally just like, grabbed some probably like, should not flowers and okay, cool. put them in my nose. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> he says, I pull up a medical mask. Well, you play Dr. B. Yeah. <laughs> I'm prepared. <laughs> I did not expect such strange people in my holes. Dude, what In the particular, heck? I did not expect a liar. Oh. At least I'm not a liar. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> what? Don't play the fool, lad. I know you understand me. I see it in your eyes. Oh. Halvor. These four. Uh, I guess. Sep- seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> he says, These seven are your responsibility. Any one of them steps out of line. Whatever any of our people do to them, I'll do to you. Wait. So Hmm. if I do damage to one of them, he'll do damage to... No, if if you step out of line and a guy decides he's insulted and cuts off your head, oh snap! this guy's going to cut off Halvor's head. Okay. Um, Not ideal. I'm going to pat right. Halbord on the back um, and say, Don't worry, friend. I will stay as in line as I think I know how. Be warned. As a guest at the Crucible, you're expected to bear witness to the trials and the tests. This is the Crucible. To be that means standing alongside us even when we face danger to life and limb. And while the trials are not yours, you may, on occasion, share in that danger. That is our way, that even guests must prove their courage. If you cannot accept this, you must leave. Debt or no. Uh, What exactly happens, might I ask? If I'm supposed to, you know, stand with you, I might want to know. I have no more time to waste on these foolish questions. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Find yourself somewhere to sleep. And two, uh, two burly guys start leading you out to, uh, some very meager accommodations. <laughs> is, is, is Steam allowed to collect his hands back into his coat? <laughs> they have already collected that coat and they're holding on to it. Oh no, your hands. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, That's fine. Oh. Oh. I can just give me one from home. Just, Fine. just in like four months, I can just. Well, it's, it, it's ten minutes, but I can, I can, or an hour, I suppose, for ritual. 
Oh, okay. Just they're just, they're just, just post, oh. Yeah, just air mail you one. Yeah. yeah. Just falls down on a parachute. Prime now. Man, that, that shipping's great when you get Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Two day shipping, free. No returns, but. Yeah. Um, so, I, I have three blankets. I Don't have a Lehman signing hat, we'll be fine. Oh, okay. Will, will they let you do that? Sure. Halvor lets out a long sure. breath after you uh, you make it to your accommodations, and he says, All right, that went better than the previous interaction. <laughs> could you tell me a little bit about Nylark and how I could somehow... That could have him? been worse. You shouldn't have lied to him. Now he doesn't trust us. He's got a point. At least I stood up for what I believe. Could at least... Uh, it wouldn't have been that strange. I guess this dwarf isn't really a dwarf, then. What? <laughs> yeah, but like, what? I thought dogs were brave. He was trying to... Perhaps what I did wasn't the most tactically wise decision. I meant it only to question my... Co- was I supposed to pick a fight with someone who could almost certainly break one of my arms off at the elbow? No, you and should never we- pretend to be something you're not. At that, Avian enters the uh, the area, and she is now dressed much like uh, one of these people. And it's now that it occurs to you that she wasn't with you in the hall. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Where were you? I was out. What? What? Can I? Hi. She was socializing. I Michael. like your outfit. <laughs> what? Thank you. I don't. Anvil sent me here for a job, so while you're all off playing. Oh, Whatever it is you're playing. Yeah. Idiots, yeah. it seems. Yes. <laughs> I'm doing my job. Okay. How will I trust everything went well in the hall? Does she look like a little bit more scantily clad? Not particularly, no. Okay. Why? Because I was going to take a liking. <laughs> okay. We have this repertoire, repertoire <laughs> between us, and I love it. We have this repertoire. She and wet she and me. Men, men. Um, I, I guess I'll go to sleep for the <laughs> evening. I mean, I guess she's not scantily clad, but I guess at this point she's not wearing... Less clothes than what she was. Because normally she's wearing long yeah. sleeved yeah. leathers yeah. and everything. Now she's wearing more like fur stuff, and it's... It, yeah, there's less on the sleeves, I guess. Then I just, you look very nice. <laughs> nice wrists. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. Don't worry, guys. Like she it. wants me. <laughs> no, I think that's very clear. Yeah. This is not playful banter. This is not Legrin and this Catherine. This is <laughs> this is like not interested. Stop talking. I kind of want to shoot you in the foot. Um, yeah, we'll this out. isn't like um, a boss and whatever that guy's name was that had the goblin. <laughs> oh, Aaron Rickard. They are, yeah, they, I remember him. They're so, aw- awkward, woo, aggressive, not flirting. Says. Please stay here for a while. I'm going to go and scope out what I can. I'll report back anything I find. Just don't do anything at all. Right. No mm-hmm. worries. I just hit my bed wrong. Ow. I am going to teach my doggo a new trick. All right. You can work on it. Yeah. Um, what does he learn? I don't remember. Actually, I'm going to spend an hour brewing Cure Wounds. Okay. About an hour later. Uh, he comes back. He's, uh, he, he's chewing now on a turkey leg. Uh, and as he gets there, he's in his he says, uh, So I found a bit out. Yeah, and I found dinner. And he holds up a sack and he tosses it forward. And there's some oh, good. There's some conies that he's uh, eating. Oh, like so. So, uh, yeah, hot dogs. We'll that we'll are playing yeah. I was like, no, that's no. a rabbit. We'll, we'll start yeah. prepping those and just putting them on fire. Like, no, I, I, yes, it is rabbit. It's yeah, it's not of, a hot dog. Yes, I know. Cone. Okay, yes, yeah. I know. <laughs> All right, so he studied hey, Shakespeare as well. It's a little cone. It's a coney. It's great. Can, can I make a hot dog out of it? <laughs> yeah, I, yes. Uh, and he what says, do you use for buns? <laughs> it seems there are uh, for the three for chieftains that are really vying for power here. Uh, any of the Ox Goths could end up as the most goth, but the most likely are one of three. First is Eomer. For many, he's the presumptive favorite, because we've met him. How does the the chieftain now feel about being a per- 
Is he being opposed or is he being, oh, he's dying, let's get a new one? Who? The chieftain now. Who did we just speak with? Oh, we just spoke with Thiago. Thiago's one of the contenders for yeah, Morskov. Right. Right. The Morskov, you've got to understand, is not a position we always have. It's one that comes up as needed. Why is it being needed now? Many of the people among our tribes think that one's necessary, with the orcs attacking from one front, mm. and, of course, the people of the Hayfork are all Good enemies. Idea. It seems that many here think that now might be a good time to rally together. And if we repel the orcs well enough, perhaps use that momentum to take the Hayfork. And who are the others? This is, um... Well, uh... There's Arden. Arden is uh, perhaps a dark horse, if there is one. He's the smallest of the three Ogscoths that are favourited to win. Uh, he's barely six feet tall. That's and, not tall. Uh, he's probably the weakest warrior in one on one combat. Uh, I don't know, honestly, how he's he's gotten to be such a, a powerful old Scott. He's, he's not that. Maybe very strategic? I, I predict that he cheats. <laughs> That's what many say. Uh, he's not a social or Magic. personable man either. Uh, See. Perfect. Sounds like my uke. <laughs> he says small, that. weak, and winning despite the lack of skill at arms. <laughs> <laughs> or lying to be something he's not because he's too afraid to. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Add them all together. He says, and of course, the third is Fiaka, who we just met. He's the Ogscop of my family's clan. Fjarker is, uh, well, you've met him. Mm. Thorough. <laughs> He's a strong warrior. Could he take humor in one-on-one -on -one combat? I don't think so. <laughs> but he's, he's a strong warrior. And there's a, and he's a good leader. I, I, he's been led, he's led our people to many great victories. What happens tomorrow? Tomorrow's the first day of the Crucible. Now that the three greatest chieftains are here, they're going to begin. Seems we've arrived just in time. What's the first task? First is the running of the boars. That sounds fun. All the Ogscots will go out, leading their clans, to try to bring back the biggest boar they can. Oh, that sounds really We'll fun. have to be among them with the Arcus people. Mm -hmm. But... It's very, very important that we do not interfere. We have to run with them, hunt with them. But the kill belongs to the Ogscoth. No. If anyone else draws blood from Fiaker's boar, it could mean a sentence of death. Alright, I won't. Mm-hmm. It could trip over a vine. Follow along. Don't do something. Right. <laughs> Easy enough. Or run into a tree branch that just happened to be here. I wouldn't advise that. No, they noticed the last time you tried something. I could hear it. And they're uh, they're not okay with a druid of the green. They're okay with the druid of the green, but not interfering in these holy matters. Cool. Uh, he says. And then, of course, in the evening, the pits will be open. For personal grudges. Oh, <laughs> I got one. So Good. I've heard. <laughs> so I've heard. Do you think you can win? Oh, yeah. Without magic? Without us? Yes. Hmm. How? Oh. Watch. I look forward to it. Uh, he says, the next day will be the war games. <laughs> Each of the Ox Goths will take their favoured warriors and compete in a series of challenges against the others. Some to the death, some not. Once these challenges are over, we'll have winners, we'll see who's the most tactically minded, who can be the strongest in battle. How many warriors, typically? It varies on, based on the game. I can promise you, you won't be taking part in that. Good. 
You'll just be watching, and you're expected to watch. Mm. And finally, the third day. Well, the third day, I'll let be a bit of a surprise. Um, you might enjoy it. This evening, before we go to bed, I'd like to pour a little bit of my fairy fire potion into a small vial. Okay. Um, one that is capable of palming. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to stow that in a different pocket. Alright. Oh boy. You're going to die. <laughs> have fun. Alright. All and right. there we'll leave our heroes. Oh boy. Okay. See you see all next week for when Sam loses a character. I won't.